by an act of faith, you begin to concentrate not on the wrong done to you, but the grace given to you. Greetings in Jesus' name, viewers all over the world, and welcome to another edition of Faith is Natural here on God's Heart TV. Now, after my last message, there were so many people who reached out to us and, and many people were sharing similar concerns and similar issues. They were saying things like, Brother Chris, look, I've forgiven, I have forgiven, but anytime I see him, I'm reminded of the pain he caused me. Others will say, I've forgiven, yes, I've forgiven, but I just never want to see her again. I can forgive, but I simply can't seem to forget. <sighs> Viewers, yes, it is not easy. Genuine forgiveness may, may not eliminate the, the memories from the mind or the, the feelings from the flesh, no. Genuine forgiveness releases the pain from the heart. And when your heart is released, you will not relive your past in your presence. Remember what the scriptures say in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 23. It says that we are a spirit. Yes, the main thing about man is his spirit. So we are a spirit, we have a soul, and we live in the body. And yes, this, this body, this flesh will, will feel that pain, that hurts when someone wrongs you. It will. But don't be ruled by it. We are not to be ruled by it, viewers. As a child of God, as a Christian, you are not to be controlled by the natural, by feelings and, and emotions, because they are not stable. Feelings fluctuate up and down, left and right. Emotions, they change just as circumstances change and people's opinions change and the weather changes. They're not reliable. Only God and His Word are unchanging and ever reliable. That's our standard as believers. And remember Jesus' words in the book of Luke chapter 11, verse four in the Lord's Prayer. He was teaching the believers, he said, forgive us our sins as we also forgive everyone who has sinned against us. Everyone. As a Christian, forgiveness is not an option. God simply commands us to forgive. Forgive us our sins as we forgive everyone who sins against us. Everyone, viewers, everyone. Your relationship with God simply does not permit you to harbor bad feelings towards anyone. Full stop. But brother Chris, it's easy for you to say that you don't know what this person has done to me. You don't know the pain they've caused me. You're right viewers. I may not know the pain you are passing through right now. But one thing I do know, when we cannot forgive, we're hurting ourselves more than anything. You're damaging your own heart, paralyzing your potential. If you don't forgive, you simply cannot move forward. But viewers know this, you are not alone. You're not. God knows what you are facing. And the strength to forgive from your heart comes from Him. It comes from the heart of God. By an act of faith, you begin to concentrate not on the wrong done to you, but the grace given to you. The grace to, to look past the shell to the real thing. 
the grace to look past someone's actions, someone's words, to the spirit behind it. The grace to recognize that all of us, all of us, whether you are the one who caused the pain or the one who suffers the effects, we all stand in helpless need of God's divine forgiveness. Forgive us our sins as we also forgive everyone who sins against us. Viewers, I, I wonder, I wonder if many of us would want God to forgive us in proportion to the way we forgive those who have offended us. Anytime you are reminded of your past pain, your past hurts, remember that you too have sinned and been forgiven by God. You can counsel yourself, say to yourself, since God has not consulted my past to determine my present or my future, why should I consult the past of my neighbor? to determine their present, to determine their future. This awareness will help to create a compassionate and merciful attitude towards others. Because viewers, we are living in an imperfect world. We are. We're living in an imperfect world where the challenges facing relationships will never end just as the battle in our hearts will never end. Satan will never stop trying to remind you of your past, never. That's his weapon. That's the only information he actually seems to have about you, your past. So don't give him an audience. Don't be drawn into a conversation when you already know its outcome will be destruction. Don't submit his suggestions. Know, guard your heart, for it is the realm of the desires and feelings. Take care of your heart in the light of God's word, as the word of God acts upon your spirits, upon your inner man, the real you. It will reflect in your behavior, in your conduct, in your response to relationships. For when your spirit is free, when, when the joy of the Lord fills your heart, when you possess that peace that surpasses all understanding, it overshadows the pain of the past and the hurt of the flesh. Yes, it's painful but I don't define myself by my pain. Yes, they wronged me, but I refuse to view myself as a victim. Yes, the shell may hurt. <laughs> it may hurt, but the real me is just fine. Viewers, in conclusion, everyone, everyone, hurt somewhere, just as everyone has hurt someone, somewhere, and at some time. God knows this. He knows we are weak. He knows our limitations. He knows our shortcomings, and he's ready to help. He's ready to manifest his strength in our weaknesses. If you give in, to God, you will not cave in to sin, to bitterness, to offense, to resentment. If you surrender to God, you will not succumb to the senses. Why? Because his grace is enough. 
His strength is sufficient. His mercy is unlimited. And through his word, by his spirit, you can be released from the pain of the past and delivered from being ruled by the senses. So viewers, let the past be past. Don't look back. Let the past be past. Don't look back unless it is to appreciate God for how far he has taken you. Right now, it is time to pray together. Ask God right now to give you the grace to avoid the trap of looking back. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That roots that keeps unforgiveness alive. I say leave in the name of Jesus Christ. That roots that keeps bitterness alive in you. Leave in the name of Jesus Christ. That roots that keeps anger alive in you. I command you to leave in the name of Jesus Christ. Leave in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be freedom. I speak to your heart right now. Let there be freedom. Let there be rest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Viewers, thank you for joining me. We'd love to hear from you. Please share your thoughts on this message in the comment section below. And remember, seek God's heart to see life clearly. God bless you.